Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. In these videos, I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. In this video, we're going to talk about joining a member server to an Active Directory domain. When you join a server to an Active Directory domain, it means you can sign on to the server with both a local server account and a domain account. In most organizations, Windows Server computers are members of an Active Directory domain. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that the member server can actually see the Active Directory domain in DNS. The easiest way of doing this is ensuring that the primary DNS server of the member server is configured to point at a domain controller that hosts the domain DNS zone. There is a variety of ways that you can do this, but here on Windows Server 25, I'm going to right click on the network item on the taskbar, choose Network and Internet Settings, select Ethernet and scroll down until I see the DNS server assignment settings. In this lab environment, I have everything configured statically and I have the primary DNS server set to 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 and the secondary set to 8.8.8.8. .8 I choose Edit because these are public DNS servers and won't be able to resolve the address of my domain controller. In the Edit DNS Settings dialog, I set my preferred DNS to 10.10.10.10. .10 this is the IP address of the domain controller on my lab network. If you're doing this on your network, it will be whatever the IP address is of one of your domain controllers that has the DNS server role installed. I don't turn on DNS over HTTPS because the Windows Server DNS service currently does not support that protocol. If you are thinking about encrypted DNS on your local network, consider IPsec, something I'll cover in a future video. There are a myriad of different ways you can perform a domain join. If you are doing it on server core, I recommend the sconfig command line menu system. Here I am just going to do it in a boring and direct way. I open server manager. I select local server. I click on work group under the server name. This brings up the system properties dialog box that has been there for the last quarter century. I choose change. On the Computer Name Domain Changes dialog box, I choose the domain option and enter the domain name tailwindtraders.internal. I choose OK. On the Computer Name Domain Changes dialog box, I provide the credentials of an account with permission to domain join a computer. Here I use the domain admin account prime and choose OK. We are welcomed to the tailwindtraders.internal domain. The computer needs to bounce to complete the process. One of the things I always do in a lab environment is create a duplicate of the default domain administrator account. This is because each local computer has a local account named administrator, as well as there being a default domain account named administrator, and more times than I care to admit, I've logged onto a lab machine, meaning to use one account, and accidentally use the other. If you log on to a domain joined computer using the account named administrator, just be aware that it will probably default to the local version of that account. So here I log on as Prime. I open Server Manager, and before you can say my grandmother lived in Mooney Ponds, I can see that the computer tailwind MBR1 is a member of the Tailwind Traders dot internal domain. And that's how you domain join a Windows Server computer to an Active Directory domain.